Apple just unveiled its iPhone 15 and 15 Plus models. The iPhone 15 and 15 Plus have some excellent upgrades as well. Here is a look at the top new features for both the iPhone 15 and 15 Plus. The first one has to be the Dynamic Island. The Dynamic Island was one of the most talked about feature of the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. Now it's also coming to the standard models of the iPhone 15 series. You will get alerts, pop-ups and live activities at the top of iPhone 15 display. Pretty cool. And talking about the display, it's also a big upgrade. The 6.1 inch iPhone 15 and the 6.7 inch iPhone 15 Plus are coming with Super Retina XDR OLED display with the ceramic sealed coating on top of that. The display can actually this time reach up to 1600 nits of peak HDR brightness and up to 2000 nits of peak brightness under direct sunlight, just like the last year's Pro models. That is crazy. Now in terms of design though, there are certain notable changes as well, like the aluminum frame is slightly rounded at the edge to make the phone more comfortable in the hand. We also have more easily repairable back glass with full matte finish this time, unlike all the previous iPhone standard models since the iPhone XR. These two phones are coming in five different colors, black, blue, green, yellow, and pink. Sadly, there is no white color. The most important change with the iPhone 15 is the move from Lightning to USB-C. For the past decade or so, the iPhone has had a USB 2.0 proprietary Lightning port, but now you will be able to charge your iPad, your Mac with the same USB-C cable as the iPhone 15. And this USB-C port, though, still will be USB 2.0 with up to 480 megabits per second data transfer speed, but at least it's a USB-C port. Now, this iPhone 15 also has the same A16 chip as the iPhone 14 Pro models from a year ago. So it is not that crazy of a chipset, but it is still really capable chipset. It does also come with certain new capabilities that might be significant. For instance, the A16 Bionic chip also incorporates a display engine for enhanced visuals and animations as well for the Dynamic Island, as well as improved ISP for the better computational photography. So that's actually good. There is also a new U2 Ultra Wideband chip included in these two devices, as well as the Pro models for more accurate location and detection. This enables you to share your location with friends and families as well, who may use this chip to find you even in a crowded environment. Then you can also find these phones with your Apple Watch Series 9 thanks to this new chip. The next big upgrade is actually in the camera department. The iPhone 15 still has dual cameras with one wide main camera and another ultra wide angle camera. But Apple has upped the main camera's megapixels from 12 to 48 with quad pixel f 1.6 sensor. But there is one cool thing. All the photos will be saved in a 24 megapixel by default using a 4 in 1 pixel binning tech. In addition to that, because of this new 48 megapixel sensor, the iPhone 15 also can take two times telephoto shots without having a dedicated telephoto lens, but at 12 megapixel resolution, which is fantastic considering this zoomed photo is also benefited by the F1.6 aperture as well as the sensor shift technology. I'm talking about mostly the lower light scenarios. Now, this also enables continuous zoom in cinematic video mode, which is another cool thing. And with the next generation portrait mode, it will also allow you to adjust the focus and bokeh effect after you snap a peak at 1x or even 2x, even if you haven't switched to portrait mode because it can automatically detect a human and a pet and then it will automatically switch to the portrait mode. In case you don't want the portrait effect, you can disable that in the gallery. The iPhone 15 and 15 Plus starts at same price as last year's model, 799 and 899 and comes in three storage options, 128, 256 and 512 GB. So yeah, that's probably it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below which one you are grabbing and which color you are picking because you don't have the white color now. And yes, if you want, you can get some crazy cool wallpapers up on my website, a link down below. Until the next one, bye and take care.